It's a given that the January 6th protesters didn't really think through their storming of the Capitol. If only they had brought a few thousand African Americans to join in on the protest, maybe federal judges would have been more inclined to show leniency. This goes for right-wing reporters and podcasters, such as InfoWars podcaster Owen Schroyer. InfoWars host gets 60 days in prison over January 6 charges by Sarah Fortinsky. Schroyer did not enter the Capitol on January 6, 2021, but he led protesters in chants and encouraged them to march to the Capitol building. Death to tyrants, he yelled. Prosecutors noted that Schroyer praised the actions of the rioters following the attacks. Prosecutors justified their request for a long sentence by claiming Schroyer spread election disinformation. They also argued that the sentence was appropriate because Schroyer had an active order to stay away from the Capitol, another case of speech, apparently. He is one of the few defendants to be sentenced for his actions without entering the Capitol building. As you see here with Amy Schumer, entering the Capitol building is not always a crime punishable by a prison term. Schroer had let prosecutors inspect his cell phones without a warrant. Well, obviously he's learned a lesson there, I hope. His defense team argued that Schroer believed President Trump when he said the election was stolen. He sought to be a full-time journalist and commentator who sought a front row seat at a historic event. Now what's interesting in this story here, Sarah Fortinsky doesn't tell us anywhere that there was a judge involved in the sentencing. This is what passes for journalism in 2023. Associated Press. InfoWars host Owen Schroyer gets two months behind bars. InfoWars host Owen Schroyer was sentenced on Tuesday to two months behind bars for joining the mob's riot at the U.S. Capitol, which prosecutors said he helped create by spewing violent rhetoric and spreading baseless claims of election fraud. Here's what he was previously sentenced for, for illegally entering a restricted area. Silly Schroyer, don't you know you can only enter restricted areas if you're a Democratic Party protester protesting on behalf of a Democrat Party cause? Silly man. Schroyer didn't need to set foot inside the Capitol because many of his followers did, prosecutors argued. They said Schroyer spread election disinformation and thinly veiled calls to violence on January 6th to InfoWars viewers in the weeks leading up to the attack. Let's ask Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer about thinly veiled calls to violence. Since Justices Kavanaugh and Justices Gorsuch came to the bench and they're taking away fundamental rights. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. <laughs> Schroyer helped create January 6, prosecutors wrote in a court filing. Schroyer told U.S. District Judge Timothy Kelly, oh, there's the judge, that he wasn't part of any plan for violence. The judge told the InfoWars host that there was nothing patriotic about joining a mob. Every January 6th judge, to my knowledge, has praised the patriotism of George Floyd rioters in cities all over the country, rioting, looting, burning, and committing acts of violence and terrorism. It's okay when you do those acts in the commission of a Democrat-approved protest. Schroyer amped up the mob on the Capitol steps with his amplified words. Context is everything, the judge said. So you can take it from this article that the judge did not personally agree with the intentions of the protest that Schroyer took part of. I guess the question for me as an American citizen is, is it required when you engage in a public protest with a megaphone for a federal judge to precisely agree with 100% of your goals and reasons for protesting. Is that what the First Amendment means? Is that what the U.S. Constitution means? 
The judge has to precisely agree 100% in every possible way with your political protest for it to be a legitimate political protest. Was this a rule before Joe Biden took office? I don't think so. Schroer was arrested in Washington in December 2019 after he disrupted a House Judiciary Committee hearing for President Trump's impeachment proceedings. He later agreed to stay away from Capitol grounds, a condition of a deal resolving that case. Imagine if the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., after receiving a judicial order to stay away from a protest site, then proceeded to engage that protest site with a bullhorn. Should the federal judge throw the book then at Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. for failing to obey the previous deal? Apparently, that is the case today. Martin Luther King Jr. would have been thrown in the slammer for violating a previous order from a previous judge. Prosecutors wrote that Schroer stoked the flames of a potential disruption of the January 6th certification vote by streaming disinformation about alleged voter fraud and a stolen election. How is it that the prosecutors know that this man was lying? How do they know his information was incorrect? Did they even have to prove that in court? Another question I would have for the judge in this case would be, part of this judgment is that you and the prosecution, who seem to be in sync on every point before the trial even started, you and the prosecution judge seem to believe that InfoWars host Schroer induced other adults into criminal activity by his words. Did you actually track down and confirm this presumption with the people pictured at the protest around this man when he made his broadcast with the bullhorn. I'm guessing you didn't. In fact, there is no indication anywhere in this article that this judge spoke to any of the other people who were within earshot of what Schroer said. So Schroer has been convicted for just the potential of influencing other people. They didn't have to prove that he influenced other people. They didn't have to prove that he was inaccurate in his statements. They didn't have to prove anything at all other than he was engaging in the wrong protest for the wrong president and the wrong political party. Prosecutors said the First Amendment doesn't protect the conduct for which Schroer was charged. You have, in this judge's view, good protests, and good protests do not receive prison sentences. If, in the judge's view, you engaged in a bad political protest, then you deserve a prison sentence. Well, what was the definition this judge used for a bad political protest? This judge's definition seems to be if he personally disagrees with your reason for a political protest. I can't see anything in the summaries of this case that indicate otherwise. The Constitution of the United States and the First Amendment offer a broad blanket protection for your free speech rights. It should not be up to any judge to determine whether your choice for political discourse is incorrect or wrong. It's possible that Schroer was wrong in every single aspect of his activities, including his broadcasts about election fraud, his attendance at the January 6th riot and uh, rally, and his use of a bullhorn during his broadcast to induce people to go to the Capitol. Let's just accept that premise that every single thing Schroer did was wrong. He still should have the full protection of the First Amendment to the Constitution and should not have been sentenced to any prison time or any penalty at all because we know that Democratic Party protesters protesting on behalf of approved Democrat protest themes received no such prison sentences. It should not be up to a federal judge to decide whether you are permitted to have free speech or not. Your political rights as a citizen of the United States of America, as spelled out in the Constitution of the United States, should not depend on the whims or the personal political perspective of any federal judge. Thank you.